So Android 12 isn't exactly packed with features and new additions, and it falls very much into what we'd consider the refinement category for OS updates. It is, however, worth taking a closer look at. So here's everything we've found new in the stable release of Android 12 L. Thanks for watching 95 Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. So as I've just mentioned, anyone expecting a huge number of added extras might come away disappointed, but given the huge overhaul that was Android 12 late last year, it's going to be a case of tuning and tweaking anyway to enhance Android for larger tablet and foldable form factors with a few little improvements to help make Material U a little better overall. So if you have the Pixel 3a right through to the Pixel 5a, you should be able to up get updated right now. The flagship Pixel 6 series though is going to be delayed until later this month and it's not entirely clear why but this includes some Pixel exclusive changes saved for the first feature drop of 2022. There is of course as we mentioned that Pixel feature drop video that accompanies this 12L look through but we're going to be talking here exclusively about all of those features that are part of this what is effectively an AOS P build of Android 12L and all of these features should eventually come to other phones over the coming months where applicable. Check out our dedicated video on the March Pixel feature drop down in the description below for more on that. But enough chit chat, here's everything new in Android 12L. The sound and vibration section is now larger with greater spacing between each volume control scroll bar. Cast volume controls here have also returned, which isn't necessarily new as this was added with a previous Pixel update, but the controls are much higher up on your display for reachability. The see more button is also now replaced by a rounded settings M3 button here too. When you are selecting a widget after long pressing an app icon, the actual widget section sheet now takes up all of your display rather than just a small anchored section. And this makes it easier to see all app specific widgets without having any UI portions of those cut off or obscured. And this also mimics the wider widget picture settings. To add to the other widget selection tweaks, there's also now a dedicated weather section for widgets that is more or less uncoupled from the Google widgets section, which still also contains those weather widgets. This includes the quick current conditions and hourly forecast weather widgets, which are all powered by the Google app, making it easier to find them on the go. You now don't have to dive into the wallpaper and style app to change your on-device wallpaper, as Android 12 l features a super quick switcher that can be accessed via a home screen long press. Just find a blank space on your screen and press and hold and a new larger pop-up menu will allow you to select any of your previous five wallpapers. All system accenting and colors will also adjust if that option is enabled here too. 12L has also gained the long awaited app pairs feature, which is essentially a repackaged method of split screen on your Android home screen. Groupings are now preserved within the Recents app view rather than giving the top application in split screen view precedence. This makes it easier to combine two popular apps together, for example, YouTube and the Chrome browser, and quickly return to this dual view when switching out or accessing another UI portion or even another application. Likely to help improve usability and reachability for larger screens, almost all quick settings expanding menus and pop-ups are now more centrally aligned to help you access further device control options. A prime example is the Wi-Fi toggle, which is now larger and detached from the standard bottom sheet and more centrally aligned in the middle of your screen. Haptics are now present in way more areas of Android 12L, with vibration-based feedback now noticeable when accessing or expanding the Pixel Launcher's app drawer. You'll also notice haptics when scrolling through the recent app menu with the addition of a soft vibration when closing or dismissing any apps here too. Although present in Android 12L with recent security updates, cast volume controls have now returned fully within Android 12L if you have not yet updated your device or have used previous Android betas, making it easy to access devices you're currently casting to and adjust the volume. To help improve launch times for split screen, provided you view in a video using the picture in picture mode or another app in full screen, tapping the floating player will now add a new toggle. It may look like a pause icon, but it will launch the video playing app and the current full screen app into split screen mode instantly. Completely new in Android 12 L and allowing you to quickly disable or turn off airplane mode when attempting to activate on device Wi-Fi. When you're in airplane mode, tapping the Wi-Fi or internet toggle 
will offer up a button to just exit quickly, but you can still keep other connections deactivated and enabled if you want Wi-Fi on. When opening the Recents app menu, launching the split screen mode or hold, pressing and holding an icon to launch split screen mode doesn't differ too drastically, but is renamed to Split Top to indicate that the first selected app will appear at the top half of your display. This is accompanied by a new icon to indicate what pressing this button will achieve. Android 12L also now lets you tap the date within that at a glance persistent widget on the Pixel Launcher to quickly launch into the Google Calendar app, which does mimic the weather launching feature, which has been present for a little while already. Because Android 12L is meant to offer foldable and tablet devices a unique set of features and functions, a number of tweaks have been added, including a new persistent dock, allowing you to access your most used or favorite apps from all areas of Android. This is visible in every single application that you use and is very reminiscent of the Windows taskbar or even the Mac dock. A dual view settings menu is also now available and this splits the settings section with a scrollable list of sections on the left with the open section open and viewable on the right side. Also joining this is a dual view lock screen and quick settings panel that includes notifications on the right side and up to six quick settings toggles on the left. On the lock screen, the clock is on the left as well, while unread notifications are now on the right, helping make better use of larger displays such as tablets and when unfolded on foldable devices. The toggle to set a new daily wallpaper within the community lens section of the wallpaper and style app now has a new icon. Not a huge change, but a notable one nonetheless. It's worth noting many UI elements have also been updated in 12L with more rounded aesthetics and updated M3 buttons to help fit better with the overall aesthetic of Material U and dynamic color. General UI animations in Android 12L also feature better collision and screen edge detection with smoother overall results. A prime example is the quick settings panel with toggles expanding and contracting in and out of view when this section is accessed from the top of your pixel display there are also some other changes to overall UI and animations across Android 12L, which help make the phone or your Pixel phone feel a lot slicker as a result. And also tied to that wider animation improvements, when selecting the power menu from the quick settings panel, this pop-up will now expand from the button and then shrink back in when you minimize, rather than slide in from the right as it previously was in Android 12. Overall, it is a much smoother experience. If you do use the microphone and camera access toggles and those are deactivated and are preventing access to these hardware features, when running Android 12L, the on-screen pop-up now has a much more rounded look and the M3 buttons are also here and updated to indicate where you can reauthorize and access these features where deemed necessary. To help you better understand the option, the press and hold section within settings also now has an updated graphic with a GIF to just show you how this feature works. You can also now disable the large double line lock screen clock from within the settings menu in Android 12L, which will be very welcome for some people out there. This feature allows you to just enable the smaller upper left single line clock option that will usually appear when notifications are waiting on your device. And this can be found by heading to settings, display, lock screen, and then double line clock. And you can enable or disable as you see fit. The Pixel 6 and 6 Pro have gained an updated fingerprint unlock animation for the in-display optical fingerprint reader. The animation now has a minor glow or a black glow around the activation point, which is missing from older models and does make it easier to align your finger correctly. Android 12 also features more rounded UI corners for the split screen mode. The radius of each corner will actually correspond to the shape of your smartphone's display. For example, these corners are more rounded on the softly rounded corners of the Pixel 5, but sharper and slightly more squared off on the Pixel 6 and the 6 Pro. If you do happen to have no new notifications to view or read, then when expanding the quick settings panel fully, the no notifications banner is now placed further down your display and more centrally aligned within the quick settings panel overall, making it much more visible. The screensaver section within overall device settings also has a new UI with a prominent start now button, which actually replaces the more commonly used toggle, which is seen on older builds. So that should cover about every core change found within Android 12 L, the stable release. And we do have a dedicated video diving into the March pixel feature drop, which you can check out down in the description below. So not counting all of those new options, which 
you probably haven't seen yet, what is your favorite new feature in Android 12L? Let us know down in the comment sections below. And if we happen to hit say 3000 likes, we'll give away the entire color scape of our exclusive 95 Google Android 12L wallpapers. And they'll be available via the link in the description if we do happen to reach that milestone. With that said though, until next time, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Damien with 95 Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.